protest started about an hour ago, five o'clock local time, and people keep arriving. There are buses that keep bringing more and more protesters in. The protest is specifically against the destruction of homes in Arab towns. In the past couple of weeks, they've been destroying more and more houses, and the Arab minority is saying, you're not helping us with the problem. The Israeli government is saying, you're building these houses illegally, so we're allowed to destroy them. And the other side saying, well, if you're not going to help us, we're going to keep building. Like you said, there it's coinciding with the striker with me, Ibrahim Sal, so former member of the Israeli parliament. Thank you for being with us this afternoon. Ibrahim, can you tell us more about this strike? As you see, tens of thousands of uh, Arabs and Jews came to the heart of Tel Aviv to demonstrate against the continuous and constant discriminatory planning policies of the successive, successive governments of Israel. Our message is one, that the Israeli government must put the Arab sector into the heart of what, what we call the national planning of the Israeli state. We cannot tolerate anymore living in the margin of this planning and or, or in the backyard of the Israeli uh, governments. We want to be an integral part of the Israeli system, including planning. Uh, unfortunately, the successive government's policies concerning planning uh, created a very complicated situation. Tens of thousands of homes are supposed to be demolished, de demolished by the way, destroyed according to the law. We want the Israeli government really to put an end to this tragedy of more than 20% of the total number of the Israeli inhabitants.